Greetings to all that is, has been, and always will be. Welcome, Cancer and Capricorn, to another approach. Today we are going into the Scorpionic Full Moon to see what emotions that we could have been facing that we're in the midst of that's revving up, coming from the deep, or that we will be coming into a new cycle. Um, this is general. You know what to do. All that jazz. Like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell notification and all of that good stuff. All of the information you need will be in the description box. Um, also, I desire everyone is doing well. And welcome to all of my new subscribers. It is a pleasure to have you here in the house with Mama Soul Lily. Uh, so, we're going to use my Shadow and Light Oracle deck to see what the vibe or the punchline is and then we're going to get a layer of onions and some advice. I want this to be very brief um, because with the energy that we're dealing with planetary right now, the retrogrades, it's pulling up a lot of stuff, a lot of ooky gooky stuff. And I want to see what's going on with the collective in the area in which the healing, the most healing from the trauma or pain or disappointment that you may be experiencing, have experienced. Storm Angel. At the bottom we have powerful personal growth. Nautilius Princess. No, I don't know. Don't start. 41. Working to begin the change. That brings about chaos. And you have Storm Angel. Collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energy. Okay. My Cancers and Capricorns right now are currently going through um, a storm. This storm um, could be, like I said, an energetic storm. This can be a... Like, uh, attitude styles I'm seeing the styles more as um, an identity crisis and trying to find yourself find who you are so it says put that up here and move these over here okay so there's a storm as well as as well as what's coming out of it is the value and through seeing the value, this is what's bringing in the personal, I'm seeing the personal growth. So the storm will not last always, okay? The storm will not last always. Let's get a little more on this. And sometimes the storms happen the way that they do because we're not following our promptings or we're not listening to our feelings or our emotions. Um, or trusting in our intuition that can create these collisions or these tower moments or these storms in our life or make us feel vulnerable and not so powerful and confident. Let's get a little more on this storm angel. Storm angel, my Cancers and Capricorns, can you give us a little bit more? Wasn't ready. A little bit more. What is the collision of the storm, the emotional collision? There it is. The Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Ten of Cups. This is movement. So the storm is definitely bringing in the tower moment, okay? The collision to have the old constructs to fall down so that you can truly come into your true cups, your true feelings, your true happiness, your authenticity of what it is that you want to feel. What is the tower? What is what is the tower? Supreme Creative Source. What is the tower? Uh, wake up. 
everybody no more sleeping in bed okay whether you're already on this conscious cycle you're actually coming to wake up into something new this that that's that personal growth so that's looking over the things the energy the people the attitudes the places the limited beliefs the conditionings and everything within life that has been creating these storms or these moments in your life where you haven't been feeling fully fulfilled in your emotions within that you are still going to be jolted you're still going to be jolted so I'm kind of seeing truly these traumas or these pains that's happening right now as a way to bring awareness to you so that you can stop or no longer keep making the same mistakes. And what is the personal power? What is this powerful personal power? What are they coming into? What is the light of this? The light attribute. The page of wands. Justice. And the nine of cups. The page of wands. The justice. And the nine of cups emotional fulfillment this is working within the soul this is bringing balance to the chaos this is balance within the chaos so whatever you know um traumas whatever storm you have been in remember to call upon your angels you have the angels so that's where we'll go remember to call upon your angels especially shamiel shamiel helps to deal with the matters of the heart and compassion um, there's so many others. Archangel Raphael is a good one as well because Raphael deals with the healing. And for those that don't know where this tower or why you're feeling this way, you can seek counsel with the Archangel Gabriel, the messenger to, you know, to bring the clarity or the information that is needed in Archangel Michael, just to name a few that I feel will assist you so through this storm that you may be dealing with right now to get into the development and where you want to be in your own emotional fulfillment and having balance of them of the low poles and the high poles of emotions to not allow the old poles or the low poles of emotions to affect you from your happiness one more angel message for my cancer Capricorns. you have God is your source trust in the most high I said something about the intuition everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitations. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Okay, that is beautiful. That's triggering me to want to see what this Ten of Cups is. What is this emotional fulfillment of my Cancers and Capricorns? What do they wish to fulfill within themselves? What is it that they want to fulfill within themselves? The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This is fire and desire. Through the towers, through the storms, wanting the storms to just to dissipate, to just come to an end, to stop coming in so frequently it's like you just really want your soul in the end of this you want your soul to just shine and to feel again to begin to feel again and flow in 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 the essence of all that is has been and always will be this is like a feeling i can't quite explain but it's almost like i can feel it here like it 
like there's almost a breakthrough here almost a breakthrough words of abundance you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful positive words always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms and that is what you attract for yourself and others okay anything else supreme creative source One moment. we're going to get a fairy but there's a lot of em deep emotional turmoil in my cancers and capricorns especially with this storm and continue to stay aware of yourself stay present within yourself so that you can really continue to heal and not halt to continue to heal and not halt even when the towers come even when the collisions fall even when your whole identity in waking up to the new cycle or a new part about yourself and who you are or what you feel or why you feel the way that you feel uh, I'm hearing just love you the scales of you the dark in the, even in the midst of chaos love you even the dark shine light into the dark within you and that assists within your healing because then you're willing to give this to the self as well as receive from the self going within solitude and it says think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. I do say, if I did not say that, family, just in different words, my Cancers and Capricorns, if you have made it this far, this is our concluding message. And make, uh, if you made it this far, like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell notification, support me on my journey as I support you on your journey. And until next time, also know I come with my false flaws, hiccups and all. But until next time, I will see you in another video. I share.